Good evening. Welcome to The Full View. Thanks so much for watching this Thursday evening. I'm Stephen Curtis. A very good evening to you. I am Tsipi Sumakwetla. Thank you so much. And uh, coming up today, it's a Thursday, which means that we bring you on the record tonight. We debate um, on ESCOM, whether or not it should be broken up with the union group NUM and energy analyst Ted Blom. We bring you that just after 8 p.m. tonight. We will, of course, cross to our reporters on the top stories of the day. We'll also unpack the testimony from the Mokoro inquiry, where earlier advocate Nom Kobo Jiba took the stand, followed by advocate Lawrence Mkwebi. After 7 p.m., we spotlight the commission of inquiry into the VAR. And did you know that today is International Mother Language Day? For the question of the day, we've been running a poll on sabcnews.com. Do you communicate in your mother language? These are some of your options. So, do you do it all the time, at home only, or actually never? You can see the below options. You can go and vote now. Go to sabcnews.com. You can vote on Twitter as well. And we'll give you those results. Our poll results tonight, just after 8.30 this evening. And I know Stephen is going to bring you that in Sibedi, in my mother language. And uh, if you have questions or thoughts on the top stories of the day today, please send us your comments, your 30 seconds voice notes and videos to our WhatsApp line, plus 27-6647-98056. And remember, you can view any of our interviews or features. You can go to sabcnews.com or find us on Facebook and Twitter at FullViewSABC or hashtag FullView. Now to your top stories this Thursday evening. Two suspects remain at large while two others were shot dead during an alleged robbery at Edenvale High School east of Johannesburg. National Armed Forces Day celebrations draw large crowds as the South African National Defence Force displays its capabilities to defend South Africa's territory. Under fire, Deputy NDPP advocate Nomko Bochiba vehemently denies receiving monetary bribes from Busasa. A newly elected Swane Mayor Stevens Mokhalapa vows to tackle service delivery and deal with the scourge of cable theft in the capital. Members of Parliament have debated the ESCOM energy crisis in Parliament today. It follows a request from the Democratic Alliance's Natasha Mazzoni for an urgent debate of national importance.